in order to copy this effect, we need to analyze it first. If you look it closely, if you play this in slow-mo or frame by frame, it's just a bunch of cubes scaling up along the blade. It's so simple but crazy effective. So we're going to be making that today, let me show you how. We can either go to Sketchfab, Turbo Squid, or CG Trader. And if you like, you can model your own sword. We're going to be using Cinema 4D and that will bring that animation into Aerial Engine. But that's the next video. The reason why we're using Cinema 4D is because it's so much more stable and quick when it comes to motion design. At Aerial Engine, it's buggy as fuck. The first thing we're gonna do is to bring the sword in. Now we need to add a cube to clone the main effect. Let's add the cube, change the shape, and most importantly, we have to change the pivot point so that it's nicely aligned on the top. You can hit the L key or select this button right here. And then I will add a cloner to have at least a hundred rectangular cubes along the blade. And let's line it up. What we can do to randomize it is to either add a random effector, turn on the scale, and adjust the Y axis so it's scaled randomly. Or you can use a shader that does exactly the same thing. The only difference is on the shader, you can add a custom noise. By the way, if there's nothing happening in your effector, you might just forgot to drag your effector inside of the cloner. Now that we have the base effect, let's taper the edge so it's a little more sharp. We're gonna be using a plane effector, changing the scale axis to negative one. Basically what it does is to shrink it to nothing. And under the plane effector, let's add a linear field. Now let's adjust the fall off and don't forget to drag it back into the cloner so it takes effect. Okay, now everything's gone, but it's okay. We just have to adjust the rotation. and maybe the fall off just slightly. And by the way, you might notice that if you shrink this along the edge, that's already the effect. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be duplicating this instead of making a new one. Because if you think about it, this appearing growth effect is basically the reverse. And now let's click that middle mouse button so we can switch the view. Now let's move it back to the origin. Okay, nothing is happening because we have to put that appearing effect inside of the cloner. And all of a sudden, all the cubes disappeared. And if I move along the axis, as you can see, it's working. But we are actually not done yet. Because if you look at the reference, there are still a bunch of cubes that are scaling up at the same time. We're going to duplicate the same effect, name it scale up. And let's change that linear field to a box field so everything is nicely contained. And let me just hide everything else so I can see what the fuck I'm do doing. And let's go to the side view. We'll shrink the box. Drag it back in. And now we just have to make sure whatever is inside of the box is scaled all the way up. So when the sweep happens, it scales right up. And there you have it. After some polishing, it's gonna look like this. If you would like to know more of how I import everything into Unreal Engine, build a whole environment, make sure that you follow me on Patreon and Instagram. And on Instagram, I would really appreciate it if you can share that tutorial video. I'll see you in the next one.